you doing? Welcome back to the Hot Rod Workshop. Today, we're going to discuss a few shop fabrication tips. Uh, whether you're a beginner, just starting out, or you've been working with metal for the past 20, 30 years, uh, little tips that I've picked up over the years um, have made a huge impact in terms of my productivity. These will just be real quick videos. This time around, we're going to discuss finding the center of a circle. Now, let's say hypothetical situation, you're running some pipe, tubing, whatever, and eventually you find yourself to a wall. So now you need to pop a hole in that wall in order for you to continue your pipe or your tube. Small pieces of pipe you can get away with just tracing the hole and kind of guesstimating where the hole is and kind of just run a quick couple measurements off the edge and you'll probably be okay. But when you start approaching the realm of two and a half, three inch and bigger diameter stuff, it really pays to do a little bit of work to get the dead center of that hole so you can use the right size knockout or hole punch or um, a hole saw, whatever it may be and your fit will be real tight and your clearances on the outside will be correct, especially if you're gonna be doing like a flange or a boot. Now your first step would be to trace the circle onto your flat surface that you plan on cutting through. Now for demonstration purposes, we threw a circle on this piece of paper here. Now for this technique, you wanna just pick a spot somewhere in the circumference of the circle so I picked this spot right here. That's where I'm gonna start my measurements. Now, I like to start at one, not the edge of the ruler, because you're not sure if this edge was rolled over or maybe there's something in the way where you're not quite exactly on zero. So I start at one and I work my way from there. But what you wanna do is start your one at that point and just kind of pivot it and find yourself a nice, easy number like a, you know, a half or a quarter or, a, you know, solid state. This looks like three inches right here. So from there, try to get it as close to from here to this point is three inches and draw a line past the circle. Now from that three inches, Half of three is one and a half. So from that one, go one and a half, make yourself a nice little V right here. Now, do the same thing, pivoting on that portion of the circle. You also wanna do three inches, the exact same distance from here to here, you want to mirror on the other side of your large V. So I wanna go one and the four right here. So I find my closest I could get to the one and the four, creating three inches in total. And go ahead and draw another line similar to the first one. Find myself the inch and a half in and do the V right at inch and a half. Now from here, you can use a square like this one. This one won't work because it has a step. This, this part is wider, so it hits material. So this won't work as well, but if you had a flat one, which I of course don't have, uh, this part works uh, a little bit better with that because you want a perfectly right angle from these lines at these V's. So the way I make it work with this, when I'm in a pickle and this is all that I have, is I'll pick any old measurement here. I like to go 10. And I'll just line up the 10 line and the nine line up against this V the best I can by eye. And you draw another line. Now for sake of not not making it too confusing. I don't like to pass like I did 
last time, I'll go close to this line here and just draw a line like so. Now, like I said earlier, this has to be, this line must be perfectly perpendicular to this line here. We'll do the same thing over here. And again, straight line from that V. Another right angle from there. Now, if you did your math right, which there's not much math involved, but if you did everything right and these right angles are square, this should be your dead center. Now, how do you check? I'll show you. Start with a nice compass. You take your overall diameter, cut it in half, which ends up in this particular example as an inch and a six, there 11 sixteenths. So take your ruler, start at one, go one and 11 sixteenths. Just like that. Locker in place. I like to just check one more time. That should be fine. So now, if you run the center of your compass in the center of the circle that you made, and just kind of run her around the periphery of your circle. That'll be your check. From there, you can run a hole punch, run your pilot bit, and work your way up from there to drill your overall sized hole. But this could be huge for, you know, exhaust, uh, any plumbing in a car, going through a firewall, going through a bumper. Um, so this is, you know, this will def this has definitely helped me out in the past. And like I said, there's a lot of different ways to do it. This way, once you start getting in the groove of things and you use this technique a lot, you can blast through it real fast and end up getting really precise holes every time. Thanks for watching.